Well, that's a creepy entrance. Okay, I'm into it. I am so into it. What is up, guys? My name is Aaron. Welcome to Bear With Me. Now, before we even start, I hope you all are keeping yourselves safe, washing your hands, not touching your face, and most importantly, staying indoors during whatever lockdown or stay-at-home protocols you may be having. Uh, this is a game I found on Steam. It was on my front page, so it was recommended to me. And apparently this game came out last year, and I didn't even know about it, and I love the style of it already. And this was a DLC combination uh, on Steam, so I thought I'd get it. Apparently these come before the Lost Robots. This is apparently the prequel that came up afterwards. But this is Bear With Me The Complete Collection, so let's get into episode 1. I'm into this. Exordium Games present... Bear with me. Whoa, excuse me. There's blood now everywhere. Forty seven, I saw. Is that my friend? Okay, wait, I love the style of it. I need to close my blinds. I need to play this in somewhat of darkness. This is awesome. I love it already. Ah, oh, I'm enjoying this already. I love this art style. Oh boy, it's a point and click game. Hi, who are you? Millie. It seems you had a nightmare. Did I? I don't really remember. There was a fire. Yeah, but I can... I don't remember. I don't really remember. That's all right, miss. Nightmares are best forgotten. I guess you're right. What are you doing here, Millie? Is everything okay? Oh, no, miss. Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I came here as soon as I could. I wanted to warn you and your brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. What do you mean? Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, before you go around looking her voice for change? your brother, Miss, go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted? I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven and he's become a burnout. <laughs> I haven't seen him since he left the city. But whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. Okay. Okay, Millie, I'll go ask him. But I'm not sure if he'll even hear me out. We left off on a really bad note. It's a shame you two aren't working together anymore. You were always such good friends. But for your sake, miss, please don't go wandering around alone. There is something else I haven't told you about. The reason I came all the way down here. There is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. Uh -huh. He's asking a lot of questions about you. What man? We call him the Red Man. There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week. Ever since he showed up. The officials are burying their heads in the sand while this man has an entire city. Your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well, Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. <laughs> the mayor and the commissioner have issued a city-wide lockdown until all um, of this is sorted out. A lot of people that, that are hits a little too close city. to home. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, but most of the exits are closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The mugshot boys helped me through the East Tunnel. Bless their hearts. 
We arrived at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. I'll be back as soon as I can to come check on you. Do you need anything? I'm fine, little miss. I just need to rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear fine. and ask him to come along. Fine, I'll do so. What's in the chest? I use this chest as a reading bench sometimes. Unlike most women, I just like to sit near the window on a cold autumn day under a warm blanket with a good book. It's just this weird quirk I have. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Glasses. I don't really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Better take them with me just in case. Okay, let's loot up before we go. I can take a plan. Folium Cadent. When was the last time I watered this? Oh, that's right. I didn't. It's <laughs> really hanging in there. Not even once? Oh, it, the leaf just fell off of it. Up. Oh, never mind. Ugh. Oh well. That, that's gone now. Uh, not my fault. I've read all of these. Some of my favorites are Boomerang, What Goes Around Comes Around, The <laughs> Island of the Monkeys, and Staring Down the Barrel, A Drunkard's, a drunkard's Tale. tale. Uh, my bye. collection of paintings. Mom said I could have any painting in the house for my room. It was a rigorous selection process. Let's check the drawer. See if we can get anything with us. Do you have a gun? Oh, that's right. I remember playing with this a couple of days ago. It fell on the floor and the lens broke. I'll take the magnifier with me, but I better repair it before I return it to Ted. Do you have any tape? Okay, here's my stuff. Closet, uh, we'll go hallway, bed. Let's take, can take it's a pillow. Where I rest my pretty little head. Uh, there's case. Hello. I love the style of it. Battery. I'll just pick this up. You never know when it might come in handy. Yeah, we might need a flashlight for the monsters everywhere. Uh, what are you, nothing? Okay. It's filled with stuff I brought from the city. What's in the closet? Oh. Should I have gone to the hallway? If I had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble. <laughs> I'd be neck deep in nickels right now. Something was different this time. I could I feel punch my mic. Someone really put the scares on her. Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. Damn, the voice acting's so good. She starts talking, and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm retired. For good this time. <laughs> fell on deaf ears again. Anyway, she starts talking about Millie, Paper City, her brother, and all that jazz. And, all and that I'm wondering jazz. how many times we've gone through this before. You see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she always does. And I play hard to get, as I always do. Eventually, I give in. So you're doing bits now? We've done this so many times, I've lost count. She knows the drill, and so do I. Might as well just hear her out. Her words ring through my office. They get stuck Old in this haze carrot my head, hill. and then... They get lost in the cold autumn rain outside, tapping on my window in this hypnotic manner. It's calming in a way, or is it the booze that makes me calm? <laughs> Not much to do when you're retired, and hobbies were never my cup of tea. I know her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress shtick means bad news for me. And yet I know I'm in for it again. Man, this is really good voice acting. The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. That is really good voice acting. Hi, Ted. I heard you've retired, but... Cut the ceremony, doll. I am <laughs> doing it. Doing what? Whatever little plan you've schemed up this time to ruin my life. Your bad news, doll, always were. Do me a solid this time and leave me out of it. I'm busy. I knew you wouldn't help me. I only asked because Millie insisted you come along. Millie? Are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, doll. 
shouldn't you be in bed? Uh, I was already. I was in bed. Millie woke me up. Well, you should ask her to help you out then. So, you're saying I should ask an old blind woman to help me out? That old broad is tougher than she looks. Now, if you don't mind, I have some real work to do. Oh my god, you're still mad at me? After all this time? I really need your help, and I kind of promised Millie I would ask you to come along. Mad? Why would I be mad? I was almost thrown into a wood chipper <laughs> thanks to you. I was lucky. One of the guys we investigated is in my bird watching, um, poker and cigar. <laughs> Good save, man. Where were nice you? Save. You ran off. I was following a lead, um, somewhere else. Yeah? What'd you found out? Not much. Not a goddamn thing. Listen, doll, <laughs> I've got a nice little setup here. Lately, I've been doing some tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. Bunch of nervous train wrecks, but the money is good. I grew tired of pulling bloated toys out of Dredge River. Our days of crime fighting are over. That whole thing, it's behind us. It belongs in the past. Capiche? You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? A little bit. How was it? <laughs> it was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I threw that in for dramatic effect. It wasn't in the original draft, though. No, no, it was good. It gets the point across. Does it really? You're still here, and I still have a lot of work to do. Uh, you owe me rent? <laughs> do we really, do we this? really have to do this whole bit again? Fine. This is dragging on for way too long, and it's past my office out. What's this nonsense all about anyways? So, according to Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What things? Like all sorts of bad things, and there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie, <laughs> the mayor has issued a citywide lockdown. You sound no one like has you don't believe. Never enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. They've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route, but I think that's been closed off too. They. Um, what was the names? The Mugshot Boys? Uh... Candle... <laughs> enthusiasts? Uh... Paper City's Paper Mache Association. Um, I like yeah, that. Yeah, Millie and the Paper City Paper Mache Association. They thought they could practice their, um... Macheing? <laughs> here in the woods since their place went down. <laughs> It Boy, sounds like something I would say. Down fast, am I right? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Wait, I never heard of any paper mache association down in the city. Are you making this up? Yeah, sorry. The mugshot boys helped her out. I know how much you don't like them. I mean, what's not to like? The fact that they're thieves and thugs. They literally stole a candy from <laughs> a baby once. But wasn't that baby an undercover cop? <laughs> what? Well. Yeah, it was. But they didn't know that. Now, did they? Anyways, they helped her escape the city through the East Tunnel. The one that leads to Flint's room. And she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. I need to go and check on Flint. Maybe he's still in the house, but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man. Does this whole thing just... This whole paper city thing, is that just her house? Recently and was asking questions about me. He's asking questions about you? What's so interesting about you? Hey, that's a diss, man. Hey, I'll have you know, there are a lot of people out there who find me interesting. Nilly is really scared of this man. I can't leave anything to chance. Will you help me out? Whoa there, sugar cup. <laughs> Even if I come along, and I'm still thinking that one over. I'm afraid a crucial component that'll help in our future investigation is missing. Is it Flint? Your hat, my brother. Your left shoe. Your very specific left shoe. No, I'm phasing that one out. Your magnifier? That's right, Dollface. Now be a good assistant and go find it for me. Assistant? I'm sorry, your assistant? Excuse me? Now get cracking. Uh, sneakers. So I need to find something to what? Tape it together or something? Can I get that mask? It's my field hockey mask. 
My friend Jason wants to borrow it. As far as I'm concerned, he can have it. What's the worst that can happen? Uh, the whole t t t ah, ah, ah. that whole thing. Ever thought about I that? I really feel like I don't own enough shoes. And no, it's not a stereotype. It's just a fact. Okay, wait. Do I have to go out of here to find something to? I got this for Flint with my own money. It's some guardian superhero dude. Very bleak and depressing story arc. Uh huh. Uh huh. Bleak and depressing. Yeah, you got These me at that. These are my clothes. Okay, I don't need to know about that. File nope. cabinet. No. Okay, record player. <laughs> Can I just switch it off? <laughs> I love the yarn work, especially. Can it I get a cup of water? Look like a proper office. No. Well, since this office is in my closet, that window there is for purely decorative purposes. Oh yeah, There's this is your closet. That explains the clothes and things. I'm dumb. Okay, so do we have to... Hi, Millie. Nice to see you still here. Uh, do I need to find something to fix the magnifier? Or can I... Hmm... Actually, let's go try giving it to him. Maybe he'll accept it. I can't use that. No? Okay. So I have to find a way to fix it. I need some tape. Or something. Miss, don't go wandering around alone. Uh, what do you expect me to do, Millie? Am I missing something? It's just a window. Don't let this crippling amnesia get to you. You can do this. Millie. Uh, okay, wait, hang on. I don't want to know. Okay, well. You said that this red man is asking questions about me. Why? I'm not sure. But Did your you voice might change be again? In danger, miss. This man's done nothing but horrible things since he showed up in Paper City. In only one week, he's got everyone, including the police department, hiding and running in fear. Tell me something more. Can you tell me something more about this man? I'm afraid I don't know much, Miss Amber. Only stories here and there, plus what the paper has been covering. So far, I know he's been asking around about you, and that he's responsible for all the terrible things happening in the city lately. I love that thunder and lightning. Can I do this? Come on. What? What do you mean, come on, huh? What is... It? Nothing else? Okay. So I need to find something. Pencils. An extensive collection of colored pencils I acquired over the years. Radio. Nothing but white noise. Uh, I don't know what else I can use to fix stuff. Maybe there's stuff in the closet. Oh, wait, wait, what was that? Wait, I, I thought I was, wait, excuse me. Sorry, Ted, I'll be back. I refuse to call you Ted because of the last night's supper. Early bird cornflakes. I like to eat them in the evening, completely disregarding their overly advertised intended use. Uh-huh. Can I turn the lamp off? Nope. Uh, okay. Can I? Nope. Can I go back and find something, please? So, I'm assuming that there's something here to fix stuff. Can I just no, talk to you? Nope. Not yet. Do you really need my help? I didn't mean to okay, click. Okay, fair enough. At times, I do apologize. Sticky glue! I Don't. bet this glue will be useful. Better take it with me. <laughs> Don't mind me taking things off of your desk, okay? Eh. There we go. Now I just need a lens. Ah. I broke my mom's glasses. 
I better find uh, this with this lens now. Okay, okay. Voila! A perfect crime. Ted will never know. Yeah, ex except for the fact that you're doing it in front of him and he can hear you. That's not my magnifier. What do you mean? It's a magnifier. It magnifies and everything? No, this is my magnifier. With the lens missing. Oh, god damn it. Recently. You've replaced the lens with your mom's glasses and glued them together with kids glue. <laughs> That's preposterous. Never have I ever. He knows. Okay, never mind. This will do, I guess. Let's head out. He knows. Run away. Look at the shame in her eyes. Hi, Millie. We're going out now. I don't feel like I need to talk Let's to you. Let's head out. Watch my back, Ted. Ooh, spooky lighting. Weird decoration. Just... It's just weird. Yep, it's weird. Plant? Can't take the plant. I feel like I sh Sandwich? It's a ham, bacon, lettuce, and mozzarella cheese sandwich on pimento bread. It's mounted on my wall, and it shines. So it's like a sandwich that's also kind of a lamp. What? A box filled with all sorts of stuff. Really, just all the imaginable, useful things I need right now to solve this mystery. Packed inside a single cardboard box and left in the middle of the hallway. It's just closed, doll. I know. Ah, okay. <laughs> Open the clock. It's locked. It's locked, you say? I have a Swiss Army knife that says otherwise. I don't think so. Okay, well. Never mind then. Bathroom. Flint's room. Okay, let's go over here first. I don't want to try to progress in the story. Let's explore, shall we? Levio saw. Dark in here, Ted. I can't see anything. The light is busted. We'll have to find a flashlight or something. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks, guys. I just wanted to explore, but apparently you're stopping me from exploring now. Thank you. Wait, it's locked. But why? This is mighty suspicious, doll. Wasn't there a hole in the study wall? You know. That one that used to crawl through when you were younger. You're right, Snoop. How do you know Maybe this? It can still fit through. It's worth checking out. Alright, further down the hallway we go. Oh, the he Rusty. Rusty? Rusty! Hey there, Rust. It's been a while. Sure has, Snoop. Still walking the beat? Not lately. I finally took some time out to sort things out. He's pretending he's retired. <laughs> it takes a lot out of him, apparently. Well, you couldn't have picked a worse time to retire, Snoop. Things are getting close to boiling point down in the city. What's going on, Rust? Wish I could tell you, Bear. I'm as clueless as the rest of them. One thing I know is that I was working at the steel mill one day. The damn place got blown up. Blown up? Blown up? Yellow King? No, you know anything about Red Man? About some Red Man. Know anything about that? I sure do. Ah. He's the damn reason all this is happening, Bear. So this Red shows up down in PC. This was a week ago. He goes after the thugs first, gathers <laughs> information and such. No one thought nothing of it. A couple of beaten up low lives here and there. It's a common trade with these guys, you know. Then the fire started. The fire. A couple of guys down from the coal district got. Oh, I love that. Corner this bird. No one heard from him since. And those guys are miners, Bear. They're as tough as nails. Who is? Those guys, <laughs> said. What kind of information is he after? Pay well, attention. Here's the funny part, Snoop. I heard he was asking a lot of questions about our beloved miss here. But why? That's why I'm here. After Doris and the kids left the city, I figure I'd come here and make sure Amber stays safe. Now. Don't you be dragging her on one of your ill-advised adventures, Bear. Yeah, it's all him. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Anyways, <laughs> why would this guy be going around asking about her? You know anything? It's about totally his fault. Doll? Anyone whose life you're messing with, besides mine, I mean. Angry boyfriend, perhaps? Don't get smart. I never heard of this red guy until tonight. Besides, you're the only man in my life, Bear. Oh. Who's getting smart now? 
So, what kind of information is this guy after, Rust? Haven't I told you about this already? He's asking about our little. Yeah, you here. did. He's not paying Still attention. Good. I don't think so. He's fine. He's just sleepy and grumpy, and like totally not drunk. Nah, I'm fine. She's <laughs> sleepy and grumpy because she dragged me out in the middle of the night on some wild goose chase. Nice to see you two are getting along after all these years. Uh, have you seen Flint? Have you seen Flint, Rusty? Millie told me he might be missing. I'm sorry, little miss. I'm afraid I haven't seen your brother. But I'm sure he's fine. Flint is a tough kid. Besides, no one has left or entered this room since I got here. Uh, we heard the city's heard in lockdown. The city is in lockdown. Sure is. It's been like that since the mill exploded. The official statement is that there was a gas leak down in the basement level, but we all know better. We, we all know better. So you think it wasn't an accident? You think someone is trying to cover something up? I wouldn't go that far, miss. My suspicion is that the officials don't want to make a big deal out of it. Keep the folks at ease. What about the mill owner? That Deets fellow? He made any enemies lately? Deets? Filed any big insurance claim or something? Nah, bear. Mr. Deets is a straight up bird. Besides, his son was down at the mill when it happened. Kid got a little ear buzz is all. Um, how'd you escape, how'd you escape? Pete? I used the East Tunnel maintenance shaft, but the thing was getting close to collapsing. I think they closed it off completely after I got through. Uh, so no one leaves? So no one leaves or enters the city at this point? That's what the lockdown implies, Bear. Folks are still escaping, though. <laughs> He's I not alright today. Here through the tunnels. Them mugshot boys were the first to flee, and poor old Millie. I hear she got here safe. Millie's in my room. She's resting. Bless your kind heart, little miss. I'll stay here in the hallway. Keep an eye out. Can you do it, Rust? You seem kind of tired. I ain't no bunny, <laughs> little miss. I ain't Some no bunny. Some must have fast one on me. I'll give him a little chin music before I drop a dime on him to the elbows. Um, what? What? He's saying he can do it. Ah, okay. <laughs> what you is the yellow king? The yellow king? No, really. I guess they left the thing wide open. Like, open to interpretation. I personally didn't think much of it. Okay, bye. Well, we better get cracking. Catch you later, Rust. Sure thing, Snoop. Thank you, Rusty. Bye. Bye, little miss. Don't worry about your brother. I'm sure he's all right. Uh, oversized plan, couch, plan, painting, save point. A save point. Nah, just kidding. What is this, Resident Evil? We have auto save, you dingus. A very uh. Okay, well, it's funny that you would mention Resident Evil since the remake of 3 just came out like yesterday when I'm recording this. Whatever, study, let's go. Ooh, well, there's the hole. <laughs> there's literally, it's called the hole in the wall. There's something. It's a decorative plaque of some sort or an award for wood chopping? I don't really know. It's something. Take the globe. Spin the globe. Let's take this bad boy for a spin. Do, do, do. Not a very fast spin, huh? Open book? Lex iniusta non est lex? Bunny made up words. Although they have a certain righteous ring to them. Said Latin? Is, Just shining is, away. Is I have a similar Latin? one in my room. You have the same lamp in your room. <laughs> It's just asset reuse. Those lazy artists. Okay, you just broke the fourth wall. Thank you for being meta. What is that? Hey, a flashlight. Ooh. But there are no batteries inside. There's bound to be some in the house. I you have a battery. Rusty, give us one of his. I'll take the flashlight with me. Hang on, I've got a this won't battery. Work. It usually takes two or more of these. Okay, well, you want me to go ask Rusty for one of his things that's inside of him? Not in that way, but let's go through the hole in the wall. This hole leads to Flint's room. It's covered in cobwebs, though. That's so gross. Go in, Ted, and check it out. <laughs> I'll wait for you here. I'm sorry, doll. As much as crawling through spider-infested holes sounds appealing to me. Uh, I do I have pass. to find something else See, now? spiders tend to nest in my fur. And then I have to take a bath and go through this whole fumigation process. It's a mess. 
Okay. So what do I do? Ew, cigars are gross. Of all the places in the world, the flavor country seems least appealing to me. What do I need? A Nubis statue? Hey. Nice. <laughs> There's a number written underneath. 107. What does it mean? Seven. Ten sevens, the police code for an unconscious or a dead person. That's a little grim. I don't make the rules. I sure as hell don't follow them either. <laughs> I don't make the rules, I just follow them blindly. Um, 107, well, 10, ooh, a key! We'll have to find another way. Uh, can we not move the armchair, uh... Okay, let's go... to the other room. There's another room. What the- What the hell? What was that? I don't know, Ted. Lights? Tricks? Yeah. I guess. Excuse me? This thing. This thing. Yeah, sounds right. Not really. What was that? Did you see that? I've got my eye on you. It's Although locked. you're probably. Um, I mean, well. Of course it is. Hey, Rusty, can I get a battery? Rust, we need a big favor. What's this about, Bear? Rusty, we need a battery for our flashlight. We thought you could help us out. Sure, I got batteries, but here's the problem, miss. If I give you a battery, I gotta shut down for the rest of the night, and mm -hmm. I have to keep an eye out. Uh... Can't you give us just one battery, Rusty? You'll still have a couple of them left, right? Here's the thing, little miss. It's a closed circuit. She knows. She's just uh... playing soft side rust. We could take some of that edge off, Rust. Why don't you rest your eyes for a bit and let me and the doll here take over? You? <laughs> no offense, Bear. I respect you as much as anyone in Paper City, but this here is different. I don't think you could handle this red guy on your own. You should take care of Miss and Millie and leave the patrol to me. Are you saying I'm not qualified for yes. watch duty? We have to wrap this thing up. Fast. There's a bottle of carrot juice in my desk that's longing for my <laughs> We can keep an eye out for anyone suspicious in the meantime. Besides, you know I'm more than qualified. You know I'm more That nasty business from a couple of years ago, with them robots going missing. I was the one that brought that whole shady affair down, and you know it. Are you trying to play me, Bear? I know you had nothing to do with that. Oh. That thing went so high up, there's no chance in hell Snoop like you even got close to wrapping it up. You seem to have blown a fuse there, Rust. It was me who cracked that case, and I can prove it. I have the case file and the credentials, handed to me by the commissioner in my office somewhere. Okay, okay, settle down there, Bear. Let's make a deal. <laughs> Gaddy. You show me the credentials and I'll hand over the battery. Why it's can't you just give me the battery? You. I just want to make sure you're not playing me, is all. Ah. <sighs> Ted and Amber, move away. <laughs> oh my god, Ted, you're not supposed <laughs> to read the brackets. A do-over? Keep it rolling! Keep it rolling. My office doll. There's an old file I have to find. What's this whole deal about, anyways? Why can't he just give us a battery? We can keep an eye out. Rust is having a hard time coping with what happened. What happened? He worked in that mill for over 20 years, and now suddenly he's got nothing to do. Let's just do this to humor him. Let's <laughs> just Rust. humor okay, him. Okay, <laughs> you're right. Let's find that file. I uh, think by the time this is over, we're going to meet a lot of people in his position. I love how meta it gets. It gets so, so meta. Millie, you still here? Hi, how are you? Don't, don't worry about us. We just uh, gotta go look for a freaking file now. There should be an old file here somewhere. Nasty business from a couple of years ago. The robot union hired me to look into several cases of robot kidnapping. Ah, okay. I remember. That CEO of Illuminarium, Skinner, used robot parts to manufacture headlights at low prices. Yep, I brought down that whole Spoiler alert, alert, I didn't play that one yet. Rust finds me unqualified for lookout duty. Probably thinks I'm a burnout. You're not a burnout, Ted. I mean, you were more driven before, but I understand you've had a lot on your mind lately. Anyways, yeah, like retirement. I'm really glad you're with me on this one. Sure thing, doll. What am I going to say no to you? Thanks, Ted. Don't mention it, partner. He said partner. Oh, he said partner. <laughs> I'm so happy he said partner. There. Is this it? Yep, that's the one. 
Let's head back to that. Wow. Wow. Okay. Rusty. Give me your battery. I'm also looking around every time I exit a room or something. I'm looking for changes in an area. Okay, I thought you were going to be dead. Is that shadow always there? Whatever. Having trouble finding you? I'll find it. It's some. I know. I forgot how you do things. There you go. There you go, buddy. Signed and authorized by Commissioner Locke himself. Anyways, we really need that battery now, Rust. Time's a factor here. So it was you. I'll be damned. <laughs> it was a big deal for us robots, you know. I always held you in high regard, Bear. But you just earned my utmost admiration. Let Hell yeah, give me that you achievement. Can have my diary. I can use a little shut eye to be honest. Keep an eye out and keep little miss here safe. Oh, and check on Millie from time to time. Make sure she's all right. She's fine. Thanks, Rust. I we think. Won't let you down. I Thank hope so. Thank you so much, Rusty. Get some sleep. We'll wake you up in the morning. <laughs> Longest eight hours of your life. <laughs> Two batteries. Hey, I got it working. Hey. Let's go. Let's go to the darkness. The darkness. Oh, I love that effect. Oh, I love that effect. Uh, okay, what? Let's look in the mirror first. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who will be a beautiful princess who's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies? Um, you are Amber, like for Tony. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Did that thing just talk? I don't know. Did it? Did that thing just talk? Uh, that's not it's how it goes either, but okay. Interesting stuff. Can't do anything with the sink. A duster! Take the duster! Oh. This duster may come in handy. I'll take it with me just in case. I like how, like, when I move the, the flashlight around, it doesn't, like, just brighten up immediately. Everything, like, floats in. So if you look at, like, uh, the, 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 where the bathtub is, if I move it slowly, you only get to see parts of it, like, and if you look towards the bottom, I'll like put an arrow in, uh, like where the tub actually is. You can see somewhat of a shine, but not fully. It's very realistic lighting. I like that a lot. Where's the money, Lebowski? Lebowski? Toilet paper. Everyone could use that these days. It's just one of the many cabinets around the house. Nothing interesting about it, really. Ah, trash I'm can. Not going for trash. It's just my work ethic. Uh, you can just open it. You know that, right? Creams. Just some stuff I don't really care about. Grooming yeah, products. I'm pretty as it is. Why take yeah, it? Ted might need it. Bathtub can't do anything with that. Towels can't do anything with that. Cabinet no. Pills? They're my mom. Some pills. I'm not really sure what they're for. <laughs> Birth control. So they don't have another one of you. Is that it? Anything else? So, was this really pointless to get in here? Oh, cleaning no, stuff. But nice try, mom. I'm not your mom. Used to clean a Am I your mom? Used for not washing your face cuz water is gross in the morning. What? What? A painting on the floor. Trying to get out of town, eh? You owe money to the art community. Listen here, man. I'll cut you a deal. I'll take is she, is she your okay? debt and pay those money grubbing watercolor. Pushes. I really feel so like that's what the pills are for. It's so that there's a, not another one. It's living on the oh, you. Thank you, Lightning. Thank you, Lightning. You should really know what this is by now, buddy. It's where I take long showers and contemplate life. Also, I sing. Okay. So, was this really pointless? Okay, let's move into the corner so we can see everything. Um, yeah, no, I think that's 
pretty much it in here. Okay, let's exit. That was pointless. Dun dun. Whoa. What's happening? What is this? Doll, you seeing this? I, I, I don't know, Ted. What was that? It's fine. It's nothing, probably. It's the middle of the night and the light is playing tricks on us. Let's yeah, go. totally. Yeah. Because an eyeball just appearing in the floor means that the lights are playing tricks with us. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Can I pause? I can pause. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's just save right there. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying this so far, give it a like down below. I wonder what happened. Is that the red man? Messing with my head, man? Alright, but I'm gonna leave this over here. I'll continue in this in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, until next time, game on.